Checky, checky, checky. Why do I have the, uh, why do I believe in it so much? The, the, um, why do I use no excuses? Why do I use no excuses so much? Why do I use no excuses so much? Let me tell you why I use no excuses so much. Um, and I'm going to talk about this cat that I met this weekend named Paul Hoffman, who actually taught me, told me about another brother. Um, at, I can't remember his name, but he has, doesn't have arms. And he was telling me a story about how this brother with no arms rode a bicycle from, from Key West to Seattle, Washington, okay, carrying a pair of uh, someone who didn't have legs in, in the back. So they had the person in tow in one of those little caddy things behind the bicycle, and he rode from Key West to Seattle, Washington. That's why I don't have excuses. Period, point blank. I have two hands. All right, I can imagine how life would be if I didn't have the other hand to hold this gimbal. You get what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure I'd figure it out, but I know that life would be a little bit harder. So I don't complain about things when I know that there are other individuals who have, quite frankly, way worse things to deal with than I do. You understand what I'm saying? That's a part of my motivation. You know, when I see uh paraplegics when i see people in wheelchairs and you know people with one leg and and honestly individuals dealing with obesity and things of that nature it motivates me even more to go out there and do more you know it motivates me to jump on my unicycle and go out there and do a few miles it motivates me to jump in the gym it motivates me to do handstands and all of that stuff because i can you know because you know, I know that there's an individual who appreciates the fact that I'm doing it and they're living through me sometimes, you know. And for me, you know, I think that's a win-win, straight up. I think it's a win-win. So you got to find out what your motivation is and not allow your excuses uh, to be your reality. You know, you have to learn how to change your reality, you know. And, and I'm going to give you a real quick example of that. There are a lot of individuals who always give me the uh, reality, if you will, that um, they don't have time when they get off work, right? Nobody ever has time when you get off work. And that is your current reality. But the truth in, within your reality is that you do have time. What you don't have is the energy. Maybe if you eat a little bit before you leave, you might have the energy. And if you have the energy, you will create the time. So you've now just changed your reality from saying, you know what, I don't have time to now you do have time and now you understand why you didn't have time in the first place. It wasn't the time that was an issue. It was the mere fact that you just really didn't have the energy. I mean, think about it. How many times have you decided, you know what, I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out and kick it and whatever the case may be. And right before it was time to go out, you're like, and I'm staying in the house. How many times you say when you go in the house, you staying in the house. You understand what I'm saying? So if you change that reality, life will be beautiful. That part's much I guarantee. You know, because for that individual with no arms, his reality is not, hey, I don't have arms, so I can't ride a bike. His reality is, I don't have arms. How do I learn how to ride a bike? That's what we need to do. Holla back. This year, I'm hitting my goals. You hit my, your goals with me. Let's rock with it. Holla back. <laughs> See my puppy? See my beautiful puppy.